Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning in the Lord. Praise his name. Give him glory. Hallelujah to his name. You know, um, basically, I just wanted to get up on here real quick. I will be doing some more videos today. But one thing that God has been really just speaking with me about, and go ahead and press share, um, tag, please, someone the church. And I know y'all know I stay on the church because judgment begins in the house of God. So if judgment begins in the house of God, how is it that everybody's saying, Oh, don't judge. Give me a break. Give me two. As a matter of fact. So one of the things that God keeps reiterating in my spirit over and over and over again, the compromise the compromise. Remember, people, it is done subtly. The enemy is not going to come real, uh, especially if you're a mature Christian, but he comes subtle. It is the little foxes, God says. It is the little foxes that keep my people bound. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to do some very, very powerful videos later today. Um, I don't even want to give you the subject. You know, I, I want you to just be like kind of surprised, but I will say this. We are falling. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. There's a black slidden church. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to understand, the enemy knows his time is short. So he's pulling out all stops. Come on, somebody. A lot of people say, well, he don't have no old tricks. No, he don't have no old tricks. He got new ones. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And then because you don't recognize the enemy, he comes in, you don't recognize him because most of you are not asking for wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. And, and, and I just got to keep it 100% transparent, just like I'm always. Everybody's looking for the next great thing. Um, attention. He gets a lot of people in attention. He's getting a lot of people wanting to be more than they are. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let, let me tell you something what God had to pull my coattail on. We are supposed to be building up people to serve Jesus, not us. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be honest with you. But the enemy is doing the same thing that he got caught doing. Do you remember? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me this morning. Do you remember? Uh, you don't remember per se, but if we was all spirits, trust me, we witnessed it. Oh, that's deep right there. When the enemy, Satan, the choir director was with God, he never spoke it. He thought it. And God said, oh, you want to be God. That is the same spirit that he's using today. And pastors, preachers, teachers, want to be prophets, apostles, anybody. You don't hear what I'm saying. Want to be more. Want to be seen. Want to be recognized. Want accolades. Want everybody to think that you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That you're using, losing your relationship. Because that's, that's it. You see, he don't care about you reading the Bible. He don't even care how many works you do. What he does care about is if you have power. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm reminded of the sons of Sceva. Do you remember the, 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 the demons say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Come on, somebody. If the demons don't know your name, then, honey, you ain't got no game. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You ain't got no power in this hour. That's really what I'm saying. How is it? How is it? I was on the phone with someone this morning. Praise God. And it's true. He said something that made me shout and laugh. He said, there's an outbreak of prophets. He said, but they can't see nothing. Ooh, come on, somebody. Y'all know that's good. I'm going to repeat it again. He said, that's an outbreak of prophets, apostles, but they can't see anything. And I'm not trying to be grandiose and trying to act like I'm all there, but y'all know it's true. They, they, they put prophet and they put apostle and they put this and they put that, but they have no sight. They have no vision. They have no anointing. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. But they can preach good. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. They can make y'all holler and shout and give y'all money, you know, make it rain on here, especially Facebook, but no discernment, no wisdom. Because here's what's happening. The reason why the body of Christ is going backwards, because they're not preaching deliverance. I'm talking about how to stay delivered. Teach me how to stay saved at 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm going through. Because we go through it. Oh, come on, somebody. If you are truly anointed and appointed in this hour, you are going through it. You don't have to pretend, baby, because I know, hallelujah, I know personally, you are going through it. That's if you are truly ordained in this hour. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You're going through it because this is testing time. Because God has to let everybody know who are his and who are not. Come on, somebody. He's shifting the wheat right now. The ones that's real, the ones that's not. The ones that just playing. The ones that just want money. The ones that just want fame. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's the sifting. That's why we're all going through. We're all going through. The real ones. Now, if you ain't real, you ain't going through nothing. God bless you. Hallelujah. Have a good day. 
But the real ones, you're being tested. I'm talking about crushing, crushing. I'm talking about if you could break, you did break. Oh, come on, somebody. But but the sad part, oh, I got to go here. The sad part is you can't even go to your church leaders or your sisters and brothers per se in the spirit. Come on, somebody. Because you don't know if you're going to hear it in a pulpit. You don't know if you're going to hear it, uh, uh, come on, somebody, in church. Or, 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 or they're going to call, well, you know, so and so. Come on, somebody. Because everybody talk, gossip in spirit. Come on, somebody. So you can't even trust nobody to tell them if you're really going through anyway. Isn't that sad? Because we have a church that, that, that's, that's not really together, not really unified. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Yeah, it looks that way on Sunday morning, you know, hallelujah. Oh, highly favored and I'm blessed, whatever. Because some days I ain't highly favored and blessed. I'm going through it, hallelujah. Sister, can you pray? And P-R-A-Y, not P-R-E-Y. Can, can, you, can you really be authentic with me when I'm talking behind my back? Oh, come on, somebody, I'm telling you. We have a church unchurched. And they say, well, why you keep, because God keep bringing it up and I'm going to keep saying what God say, hallelujah to his name. It's about relationship. It's about going before that altar. And I'm not talking about just the physical altar. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, walk with me. I'm talking about the spiritual altar before God. God, God created me a clean heart. God, God, take out everything that's not right. God, rebuke me, God. Correct me, God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God, please, God, I need to get closer to you. I want the power of God so I can help my sister and my brother. I can lay hands with power. Hallelujah. That real stuff. I ain't talking about that stuff that y'all see on Facebook. I ain't talking about that stuff that y'all see in person and everybody walk in the same, come out the same. I don't want to be around. I don't have to go to no little click meeting. Oh, come on, somebody. I want some power in this hour. I want the Holy Ghost. I asked one of my friends last night, and I'm asking you, is that okay? Have you ever caught the Holy Ghost for real? Don't play with me. I'm not talking about the little fake stuff that y'all do and y'all got them pastors thinking they got so much power. <sighs> I got the children doing it right now. Y'all just fall out. Stop that foolishness. I'm talking about that real, authentic Holy Ghost power. And, and I'm going to explain it to you. Now, you'll get excited in your spirit if somebody's preaching good. But I'm talking about when somebody lay hands on you. And your whole body, and you fall down. The power of God. And then you try to get up. And you can't get up because your legs feel like jelly. I'm talking about feel like you ain't got no legs. And you're like, what is this? What is this? And that's when you know that you know that you know that you've been touched by God. That kind of Holy Ghost. And that's what happens because it happens to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? That real Holy Ghost. If you have not felt the real Holy Ghost, then you are not in a Holy Ghost filled church. And you need to run. Hallelujah. Because honey, we, we, time, 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 time is not on our side. You think so? Hallelujah. The enemy, is, the enemy is doing a lot of stuff. And the church is behind time. Because we don't have people that are truly being saved, truly being healed, truly being delivered. Hallelujah to his name. It's time. It's time. And, and, and it's not to... Heck yeah, it is judging. It is judging. I'm so sick of this generation. Don't judge this. Ju Every day we judge. You judge whether to go somewhere, whether to not. Whether to be friends with somebody, whether to not. Whether to do this, whether to not. So stop that foolishness. Uh, I don't know, but that's the enemy. Uh, you're judging, you're judging. The devil is alive. We got a whole book of judges. Come on, somebody. As a matter of fact, you go to court a lot, that's judge. Hallelujah. So... Today, I'm coming with some powerful videos. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I ain't doing a T.D. Jakes mini, but I'm just saying, God, he, he, he has a lot to say. And, you know, I told you guys, I'm not getting up on here in, in, until in, unless God release me. Because I don't want to be one of those entertainers for you guys. I love you, but I'm not trying to entertain you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I want you to hear only what thus saith the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. So I just pray that during this day, and, and congratulations, I think this is the 13th day of the fast. I pray that you are just being strong in the Lord. And even if you're not fasting with us, just fast on your own. If you don't fast, you won't last in this hour. Do you understand? This, this kind, I'm talking about whatever you're going through, whatever demonic possession or, or recession, you don't hear what I'm saying, or any kind of battle, trials, warfare, this kind come out but by fasting and praying. You got to pray. You got to fast. These demons are real. And we have a church that don't want to talk about demons. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They scared. And you know why you're scared? Because you're operating with them. You're having sex with them. You're fornicating with them. You're lying with them. A pastor, preacher, teacher. 
And then you go in and out, so it's okay. What am I in and out? You might sleep with somebody one day and then three, four months, or I ain't slept with them, so I'm still, and then getting up on that pool pit. Come on, somebody, you spewing out them spirits, just as if you gay and you singing. Oh, come on, somebody, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't did it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Let me tell you something. Everything that's in you is being spewed out, and God going to get you. Because if his people is being tainted when they're supposed to be healed and delivered, God says the blood is on your hand, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle. Y'all sitting up there playing with God. Huh, hallelujah, but woe unto you. I say woe unto you. You can't do that, hallelujah. Not saying we're perfect because we're imperfect people serving a perfect God. But if you know you got some stuff in you, don't do it. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, because people need God in this hour. They don't need you. They not, they not, come on, somebody. They don't need to be entertained. They need to be blessed, blessed, blessed by the Holy Spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah, for real, not for play. People are hurting in this hour. Everybody's trying to be all that. Can you just give me Jesus? What Jesus saying for real? Come on, somebody. I don't need your opinion. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need your uh, accolades. No, no, no. I just want to know Jesus. Have anybody spent time with Jesus? And I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because we know that there's false Jesus' false prophets. Hallelujah to his name. So I pray that you understand this is not the time. This is not the time to play games. This is not the time to play church. This is not the time to just play. My brother and my sister, we're in high time. Get closer to your God. You don't see the evil is rising. And guess what? Have permission because we're in revelation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're in the last days. God has given them permission. It's not a game. So you have to be strong in the Lord in this hour. You have to be anointed in this hour. You have to be appointed in this hour. Hallelujah. And God did appoint you. God did call you. So I pray that you stay blessed. Stay strong in the Lord. Oh, understand. Exercise your faith. Speak that thing. Don't let anybody speak anything negative over you. I rebuke you if you say, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Quit letting people speak over you and in you. They don't have nothing in them. Oh, hallelujah. That's another thing. Some of you are attached to the wrong people. You are attached to the wrong people. You, you know, I, I have to be honest with you. When you are, uh, oh Lord, I knew he was going to make me say this. When you are in need, I need you to be careful. When you are in need, that's when the enemy has sent some people on purpose. And because you are in need, you are thinking that it's a blessing from God. And come to find out it wasn't even God that sent that. And now you attach, you have a covenant with something or someone that is not of God. And you wonder why you're being drained. You wonder why your finance is funny. You wonder why this is acting up. You wonder why your children is acting up. You wonder why this is going on. Let me tell you something. It's because who you connected to. Watch your connections. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. Because everything look like God ain't God. Everything sound like God ain't God. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his mouth. But the first thing that you're supposed to ask for every day, Father God, give me wisdom. Father God, give me discernment, Father God. Hallelujah. Don't let me miss it. Don't let me go around the mountain over and over. Don't let me do the same thing over and over. Don't let me make the same mistake over and over. Open my eyes. Let me know who's for me, who's not. Father God, show me their faces. Show me their spirit. You see, people could lie all day long and they lie good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They lie like a rug. Hmm? You have to ask God, show me their spirit. So I pray that you have a blessed day. Remember, I'm going to be doing some videos later on today. God bless you. God keep you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.